Hey guys, Grease Monkey 340 here. Coming to you with the video about my Murray tractor. As you can see, it took it apart. I got the muffler off, and I got the whole front end out. As you can see, it all open up in there. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna do a front end swap. I already started on a little bit of stuff. I pulled the old front end off. It's just a very thin steel. I didn't check the thickness. But it's thin. It rides on uh, just uh, intrusions. Like stamped out in the factory. One there and one there. It sits in the pocket. Very sloppy. They wear out pretty fast because they're no like... They're, no, they're just metal on metal. That's it. On the uh, axles here, there are three quarter inch axles. I did add the, the structure along, a while back to make it stronger from bending going on the trails. But they are pretty, they're pretty uh, not strong at that as well. I do got the three quarter inch bushing in there. But I did like simply tacked. It to fit in there. I did install some grease nipples in a while back ago. But yeah, these uh, steering, steering on these things are pretty uh, crappy. They're pretty thin. They sits on the, the pockets, and yeah, I don't like it at all. But yeah, the Murray steering on this Murray tractor. This is a 2008, I think. Is uh, let me get some light for you guys. As you can see, uh, the. That bolt there, and that one over here, both of them uh, are stink steering linkage. There are two separate ones, one on this side and one on this side, as you can see down here. One go to each tire, and when you turn, and when you turn the sprocket, one steers one way, one steers the other. But with the problem with that, when you're going over hidden rocks and uh, holes and everything, uh, those steering linkage bend. And then, and another big thing, what bends are here. These here bend like nothing. They're super thin. And with two going on each side, it can get out of sync where you get the tire out of uh, alignment a lot. One tire go raft, one tire go right, and they fight and shudder. So, I got this uh, better steering system here. I already enforced it in the points. Both of them are the same width, same uh, axle size of three quarter. Now these bear, uh, bushings here. Oh, they, they are welded right to the frame, so they're nothing they're nice. I tack welded on the top here, on the edge, to make it stronger. Same on the bottom. There was a plate coming off, so I uh, put a plate, I cut it off and put a plate to plug it, so no water can get in. And uh, Lee, uh, Lee's steering linkage here are better. They're way more thicker than a quarter inch, not a eighth inch. In, eighth inch. And on the back is a, a link bar. It links the two to get to, together. So when you steer one way, it steers both of them at the same time. So you can't really come out of sync, like out of uh, alignment, unless this bar breaks or bends or something. But in all my tractors are hard to do. And all it is is just one bracket, and that goes up to probably this side. And I'm gonna be uh, just using one uh, one of these bars, not two. Then it's to stay in alignment all the time. And the tires I'm using on the front is just a uh, 20 inch uh, trailer tires, five bolt, and I loaded a hub on. As you can see, or well, not see with the lighting. 
All right, grease nipples on them. Yeah, I'm going to be painting those up. But yeah, I already made an attachment. It's over here. I cut out the original uh, bracket. I'll show you. This whole front end, it all open up here. The three bolts can go up there and then four on the sides. So that's the, that's the original uh, bracket there. As you can see there, the dimple where the old uh, axle assembly was to be. So on this, I made, I got some half inch steel plate, drilled four holes, tapped it. So the screw that go in nice. Then I got a, a two and a half inch lift on it. Got these here. I welded the original bracket back on. I cut the tabs off, welded back on. This is the old mount, uh, height of it. As you can see the difference. And the bolt I'm gonna use is a, a five eighths by five and a half because at a good distance. I'm using here these drop bars. I'm using a three quarter plate. And yeah, some more half inch bar here to bring out the, the second arm. So the, 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 whole front, the whole front end is still gonna be in the same location, just higher, just lowered. So it gave me some more ground clearance. I loaded this back on because uh, these are the mountain holes to hold the hood on. And uh, yeah, and my bumper. So I want to keep those. I didn't strengthen it up with some uh, steel bar here, steel stock. And yeah, it, sli it slides right up on. I made it fit to go between like that. So it slides right up there. You install your four bolts here. And I got install your two bolts here, one there and one over here. Right, on this side you can see better, the four mountain holes. Yeah, it slides right up there, it bolts up. It takes those uh, 7 16 bolt. So it should take, it should be strong enough. And then on top of these, I got the, these are the steel brackets that come with it. I shortened them by about an inch and a half. Those go there, screw them back on. Then you can put your hood back on in the same location. But yeah, this this is way stronger than the original setup. I don't. I didn't. From day one, since I had this tractor, I didn't like the setup at all in the front end. Every time I did a, a wheelie and come down, it did, it did wrecks it the steering. The steering linkage, it, you come down hard or you hit a hole or a rock, the whole front end come on alignment and then your whole trail, when you ride on the trail, it, it get bad. It want to pull you side to side. They're not, not fun. So, this setup way stronger. And it slides right up in on the inside of the tunnel so I gain like a, echo a couple inches here in the long run. So, I'm going to bolt that up, and I'm going to throw in that new thing, the new steering bar, or new steering system, and the bolt to hold it in is a 5 8 five and a half inch. I got to get a new one, this is only a 4 inch. It doesn't go all the way. So, yeah. So, and then hook up the steering linkage. And this is my front bumper. I'm putting it back. So, I get started. Okay, I got it bolted in. So I nice and saw it. I got these on here. This is what it's gonna look like. So there's still room in here to put the muffler until I make a header for it. And I went to town to get a bolt. It is about an inch longer, inch and a half longer. And I got the same sweat pattern of the nut. So I'm going to be putting that right through there, like that. And you don't need, you don't need a washers on these because the, the stick steel plate is 
Second off, you don't need a washer. And the differential I gotta throw in. No, not the differential, but the front end, yeah. I'm gonna do that and both on the front bumper. So I'll be back. Okay, I got the front end. I got the bumper bolted on. I got the hood bolted on, as you can see. I got the pin in. Even when you uh, turn that, it clears everything. So it's so great. And uh, this here can you can really go uh, a great distance. Like it. So you got it on this side. You can really get out of the clearance. The tires might hit, so I might have to put some blocks. I plugged in the wiring on the wiring harness for the hood. But yeah. I think it looked pretty good. I think now it's time to uh, put the steering arm on and let's see how it steers. Okay, guys, I got the rod in, I got the tires on. As you can see, I used one of the stock rods and I welded an inch and a half little space to make it longer. If you guys can see, there we go. I welded a little bracket to make it a little bit longer, inch and a half. And it comes all the way down here, you can steal. I got the tires on. Look pretty uh, beasty. Hey, look at that front end. That nice. And it got a six and a half up and a six and a half down. A rotation. Is that pretty? That's pretty uh, nice. As you can see, when I turn the steering wheel. It steers right, and it steers left. So yeah, I can't wait to test this out on the trail. Should be way more better, and it all aligned, so it will stay straight when you let go. So yeah, I think it turned out good. Way better than the original setup. Anything a little bit heavier duty and uh, stronger is always better. I'm going to be painting these rims, I think, red. Front and rear. Because red and black is a pretty sick thing. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.